The Bentley Bentayga may just be the ultimate luxury SUV, but at a quarter of a million dollars, can you really treat it like one? Here to answer that pressing question is WSJ Rumble Seat columnist Dan Neal. Hey, Dan, great to see you. It's great to see you, Tanya. What's up? So I'm guessing this Bentley is a pretty amazing car for that kind of cash. It is the most amazing car, the uh, SUV that uh, can be reasonably uh, imagined by the mind of man uh, <laughs> at the time. But then again, you pay for it. That's so, right. Uh, yes. And so paying what you do for it, would you or would you not off-road with it? And is it even built with that in mind? It's well, it, this is a funny sort of, uh, you know, it's kind of Heisenberg uncertainty principle. You know, who knows <laughs> if you put it off road? Clearly not. But if you don't. Yeah, maybe. Uh, and, and, and the thing is that I realized in the course of this how bourgeois I'm being because there's, you know, the global one tenth of one percent. Uh, I mean, uh, these things are like Kleenexes, right? You know, they're, they're, you, you just chug them, you know, you, you know, you have a rough day of dog picnicking and then, you know, you have your valet hose it out and sell it. So obviously for me who grew up cherishing four, uh, a one single Ford pickup truck, this is uh, a little excessive. Right. But, uh, and if you get in trouble for muddying the mats, you know, that's that's something that doesn't oh, happen. Oh, I did a terrible thing. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of mud clumped into this very exact exotic audiophile sound system speaker in the door Ooh. and i'm just like oh Ooh, it's not a good but again idea. again you know that's what valets are for that's right there was someone to clean it up so dan can there be a true luxury suv or is that an oxymoron no no in fact uh, uh the uh the bentley uh, uh, board member uh told me the long black car is dead. The 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 shape of prestige, the the shape of uh, social power and of acquisition is now the SUV. Long, you know, the the limousine is. I mean, yes, in China, but remember, China is a sense of automotive sensibility is about a decade behind. Right. So. In places like Moscow and Miami and Sao Paulo and uh, these places. It's all about uh, the SUV. All about the big the, and the glitzier, the shinier, the better. So, and this certainly qualifies as glitzier. So who is the specific customer for this car? Is it the, the Russian oligarch? Uh, yes, and uh, keep going. Yes, uh, <laughs> right. oligarchs of every stripe, really, uh, where it's money is uh, very uh, ecumenical that way. Absolutely. And, uh, but yeah, and, and also I have to say that uh, the other part of it is that this isn't the most, uh, you know, you'll see Mercedes Maybach will build a beautiful SUV, a Rolls Royce is going to build an SUV, a Bentley's going to build this one and a smaller one and, a, and you know, a plug in hybrid one. This segment of ultra luxury SUVs is about to, as I say, you know, the Germans are about to conduct tank warfare on right. the streets of uh, <laughs> Beverly Hills. So getting back to this specific luxury yeah. SUV, what about the details and the aesthetics of this car? Are you personally, Dan Neal, a fan? Well, I do like eucalyptus uh, veneer. Very nice. Uh, I, I, I like my I like my unblemished uh, bull hides from the Hebrides. Again, we're covered on that score. Uh, here's an interesting point, uh, which relates back to who buys them. This car has... Uh, what does it say? 30 languages embedded in its IT. So it can uh, so it can be sold around the world and, and it speaks uh, those languages around the world. So it's uh, you're in pretty high tone uh, company in this car. All right. So one can only dream, I suppose. Oh, I'm sure this will come in your compensation <laughs> package. Uh, please don't kid us. I'll be waiting out for it. All right. Daniel, thank you so much for that. Thank, thank you, Tanya. Bye.